Hi, this is Zachary Sander with Agape Christian Counseling Services with another installment of Advice from the Therapist. Before we start, we would like to give a special thanks to Harvester Christian Church for letting us use their St. Charles location and audiovisual equipment to record this video blog. On today's installment, I will be talking about struggling with perfectionism. Perfectionism is characterized by striving for flawlessness and setting excessively high performance standards accompanied by over-critical self-evaluations and extreme concern regarding people's judgments and evaluations. Listen to this famous example of perfectionism. Leonardo da Vinci's dying words were, I have offended God and mankind because my work did not reach the quality it should have. Even after all the brilliance and innovation he contributed to the world. Ask yourself this, what do you truly believe about your self-worth? Not what others tell you, but what you say to yourself when you're alone. If you had to rate your self-worth on a scale of 1 to 10, what rating would you give yourself? People who struggle with perfectionism struggle with thoughts and feelings of low self-worth. Now, if you had difficulty rating your self-worth or you had a low rating of self-worth, the next question I would ask you is, how are you rating your self-worth? Is it based on what you do or if others accept you? If it is by these standards, you might just be chasing your tail. Society will say, to be successful, you must make money, look physically attractive, be the toughest, the most intelligent, the most creative, the most outgoing, the funniest, always be the winner, and the most interesting. One commercial even once stated they found the most interesting man in the world, and if you use their product, you just might be interesting too. Do you find your worth by having to be the most successful at your work or school? What happens when your boss is upset with you, or you didn't make the grade that you worked so hard for? Does this mean that you lost some or all of your worth? Would you advise people that you love and care for to rate their self-worth based on the same criteria? If not, you might need to ask yourself why you rate yourself that way. Throughout life, we receive different messages from those of us who, in effect, teach us how to rate our self-worth. I want to ask you, where did you acquire your self-worth rating? Maybe it was from your parents, who showed love based upon your accomplishment. Maybe it was from growing up in a school where your worth was measured by whether you were accepted by the popular group. And even if you made it into the popular group, you had to continue to meet the standards to remain accepted. Maybe it was because of physical abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse, abandonment, emotional neglect, or some type of poor treatment you received that sent you the message that you do not have worth or value. Perhaps when you were growing up, you were the one in the family that people relied on for parental support, and that was the basis of your sense of self-worth. Maybe one of the many messages you heard in the media told you how to rate your self-worth. Remember the most interesting man in the world commercial? Here's a better way to rate your self-worth that was designed and purposed for your life and mine. Psalms chapter 139 verses 13 through 16 says, We are fearfully and wonderfully made, and all the days of our lives were written in God's book before we were ever born, thus confirming God's prior knowledge and plan for our lives. In Romans chapter 5 verse 8 and in other verses throughout the Bible, we are told, well, we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Therefore, you are given intrinsic worth by your designer God through Christ Jesus, so you can strive for success in different areas of your life. Without worrying about losing your worth by what you do or whether others accept you or not. Your worth is not in what you do, rather it is in who created you.
because it is God who gives you worth. This type of worth given by God cannot be lost or taken away. So if you're feeling as if you are constantly falling short and not meeting the criteria you have set for your own self-worth, you might consider discovering God's fulfilling worth for you. God bless.